Hi, my name is Skylar Miles and I'm part of Team 13. Our mentor is Dr. Andre Spanius and our project is an analog stereo tube channel strip for use in studio recording environments. Uh, it has applications with vocals, mono instruments, and other stereo instruments that could use real-time pitch correction. This will also include analog to digital conversion that must be able to handle uh, professional audio rates such as 192 kilohertz sampling rate, 32 bit depth, uh, ideally pushing that up to 64 bits. My part of the project will be focusing on the digital pitch correction. I've been doing a ton of research into the digital pitch correction algorithms and which one is the best for human voice. I've narrowed it down to two choices, the P-Sola algorithm or the phase vocoder algorithm. Both of them have their strengths. They also both in, uh, introduce significant artifacts, which I will have to figure out how to deal with. That will probably be one of my biggest problems in trying to implement this real-time digital pitch correction. I will now pass this on to my teammate, Matt. Thank you for listening. Hello, my name is Matt Ito, and I am in Group 13. I will be working on the analog digital conversion for our project, as well as helping with the pitch correction as needed. As Skylar mentioned, we are shooting for a high sampling rate of 192 kilohertz and 64 bit depth. With any digital signal processing application, converting from a continuous analog signal to a discrete digital one efficiently is essential. However, with an audio application, being able to do this in real time is critical for our usability. Our software will work as follows. We'll be taking a continuous signal, converting into a digital one. Then using a fast Fourier transform, we're going to be taking that information and bringing it into the frequency domain. We'll have several solutions that the user will be able to pick when they start using the device. They'll correct the information a little bit or a lot, depending on their application. After which, we'll add effects, and then the user will be able to store the information or recreate an analog signal using an inverse fast Fourier transform and, and digital to analog conversion. Thank you, and I'll give you the Chris. Hi, my name is Chris Kupchik, and I'm a member of uh, Mike Preamp team. For the last couple of weeks, I was researching and testing Micron controllers uh, to perform basic DSP functions. I was able to implement a fast uh, Fourier transform library and do basic uh, tone visualization and uh, pitch detection. Um, and DSP calculations take a lot of uh, computing and may require uh, faster hardware than I have to do anything uh, in the real time application. Uh, for the next uh, couple of weeks, I will be focusing on a preamp compressor unit and how to basically digitally control it with the microcontroller and maybe display a uh, result on an OLED display. Uh, we would like to limit the number of the mechanical controls in the unit and improve a uh, user interface. So basically I will be working on a schematic and uh, code. Thank you. Hi, this is Trevor Silvers with Team 13. We are designing a pitch controlled microphone preamplifier with some basic uh, effects. So they will be analog and digital as uh, explained by some other team members. I am in charge of designing the microphone preamp portion itself. It's going to be based off the NJM8080 IC op amps by Japan Radio LTD. And uh, we've already got some working schematics and we're working on lowering our noise ratios and etc. Um, hoping to have this uh, portion finished up in the next two weeks so that I can get into prototyping. We hope to have our analog effects all put on by the end of the year, digital um, in the first month of the new year. By the end of February we should have our pitch control system uh, finished up and codes written. And then we'll be doing final testing around March and uh, final deployment in the first or second week of April. Uh, this is Trevor Silvers with Team 13, and thanks for listening. Have a good day.